Good morning, afternoon or evening. My name is Nils Rigo and I am the Executive Vice President Commercial at BW LPG. Thank you, Japan, for the opportunity to speak to you today. BW's relationships in Japan date back over half a century to the early 1950s through our worldwide shipping and Bergeson's legacy. Worldwide first ship, the Golden Alpha, was chartered to Yamashita Shinon Company in 1955. Its first new building, the Eastern Sakura, was built in Japan shipyards in 1962. These milestones mark the first of many long and mutually rewarding relationships with Japanese customers and partners. A relationship which we continue today, over 70 years later, and have gone from strength to strength. I take the opportunity to thank our valued customers, partners in Japan for your support for BW and BW LPG. Today, I'm going to talk about the VLDC market, the challenges laying ahead of us, and the ways to tackle the market challenges. Firstly, on the VLDC market, in 2021, North America continue to drive the global LPG seaborne growth. Total LPG export by VLGC increased by 12% to 43 million tons. This translates to around 76 VLGC cargoes per month. BW continue to focus on the US and we are the largest lifter out of the US with 20% market share. We expect the strong growth in the US to continue, especially under today's strong oil and gas prices. In 2021, Middle East LPG export by VLGC were relatively stable at 36 million tons. Iranian export showed significant recovery, up by 53% from 3.5 million tons to 5.3 million tons. We see upside in the Iranian exports, especially as the US-Iranian talks progress. We expect the Middle East LPG export to fully recover in 2022 and eventually growth with the new gas projects developments in the region. Total LPG import demand by VLGC have increased by 6.3% in 21. And the trend is expected to continue and grow by over 6.5% in 22. Far East is set to drive the most meaningful LPG demand growth moving forward. There are over 15 PDH developments scheduled from 22 to 24 in China. Those plants will generate almost 10 million tons of incremental import demand per year. Retail demand into emerging economies is expected to remain robust, driven by a green trend towards the use of cleaner energy. Furthermore, significant infrastructure investments has taken place in various countries and regions, such as India and Africa, to encourage high levels of import, such as new pipelines, port expansions, and storage facilities. As you can see, US has surpassed Middle East, becoming the main LPG export hub, while Far East remains the major importer absorbing more than 50% of the global LPG seaborne volumes. Hence, the US to the Far East price arbitrage has become the main drive for VLGC freight rates, taking end 2020 and early 2021 as an example. The strong heating demand in Asia and high Panama Canal waiting widened the LPG price arbitrage to over $200 per ton, 
their receive rates peaked over $100,000 per day. However, the positive momentum quickly turned, arbitrage completely collapsed, and we experienced a record drop in the ADC freight rates towards OPEX level. Today, we have seen similar market developments as last year. Despite the recent correction in the VLDC freight rates, we continue to hold a positive market outlook for 2022. In the longer term, we remain confident towards the VLDC market as LPG is a viable transition fuel towards a decarbonization and the use of cleaner energy. However, ship owners and operators are facing increasing number of market challenges from all aspects. Firstly, the market has become extremely volatile. We have witnessed the largest daily movement on the freight rates with 20% increase in TCE or $15,000 per day in one day. We have also experienced the record collapse in freight rates from over $100,000 per day to OPEX level in just one month. Therefore, it has become extremely challenging for ship owners and operators to forecast the market developments and make the right commercial decision. Secondly, increased shipping inefficiencies has become the new norm. In today's market, voyage lengths has become longer. Operations are exposed to increased weather disruptions and abnormal delays like the Panama Canal, and load and discharge ports. Imagine the vessel must wait for several weeks in Panama Canal. This caused the owner exposed to the risk of missing the lake can, and the trader are exposed to the risk of changing market momentum by the time the vessel has finally reached its destination. These inefficiencies have caused high scheduling and operational risk for both our clients and us. They're also one of the main drivers causing the extreme volatilities in the market. As of January 22, the new build order book stands at 70 vessel or 22%. No vessel have been recycled since 2018 the high order book certainly puts uncertainties and negative sentiments on the freight rates ahead. In addition, size matters. In the shipping market, but the VLDC market is highly fragmented. Over 83 VLDC ship owners controlling 322 vessels on average. That's only four VLDC per owner makes it difficult for owners to operate in the spot market. Finally, environmental policies have become more severe with various regulations targeting the shipping industry. For instance, the upcoming EEXI and the CII requirements. These regulations are expected to add more inefficiencies due to potential reduction in vessel speed it would also add uncertainties and risk on fuel decisions, posing challenges on voyage positioning. There are also increasing requirements on the reporting of the emission data, which could add extra cost to the small ship owners. So what do we do as ship owners to mitigate the operational risks? As ship owners, and VLDC operator, there are various options lying ahead to tackle those challenges. 
One of the options is to increase fixed coverage in the time charter market. This will help us generate stable cash flow, high utilization. However, there are limited long-term time charter opportunities available in the market and we must accept discounted TC rates due to the increased market inefficiencies. In addition, we may fix at the bottom of the market and lose the upside when the market peaks. Another option is to make use of derivatives. However, the FFA paper market is relatively small, making it difficult to hedge the whole position and you need credit lines to hedge your positions. We can also take more risk and increase our spot exposure. This will enable us to capture the upside during the strong market and allow us more flexible voyages planning and positioning compared to time charters. However, earnings can be highly volatile and commercial utilization could be low during extremely weak market. Each option has its own limitation. But there is a fourth option. Pooling is a good option compared to other alternatives. By pooling the vessels together, we form a wider fleet base. This provides a higher diversification versus locking in individual fixture in a highly volatile market. Pooling enables worldwide presence and broader coverage. This gives exposure to premium markets and reduces operational risk to efficient scheduling. Through economies of scale, we also optimize bunker cost and boost voyage earnings. Pooling gives ship owner the flexibility and optionality to allocate the right ship for the right cargo. This reduces carbon footprint and address environmental regulations while maintaining commercial utilization. To tackle tomorrow's market challenges and to better serve the LPG clients, BW LPG has established a spot pool and we inviting other ship owner to join as partner to better meet the future. So why collaborate with BW? Firstly, we have the largest spot pool in the market with 28 ships, including 14 LPG dual fuel VLGC. This makes our pool the most environmental pool with the lowest CO2 emissions in the whole industry. We have currently over 20% market share in the US and 11% in the Middle East. Being a public listed, BW LPG upholds the responsible and transparent business practice. Our pool will ensure the prompt and transparent communication with our pool partners. We offer a flexible pool with absolutely no exit barriers and zero hidden fees. Pool participants has the full freedom to choose the desired risk profiles. BWA LPG have an interesting commercial setup with offices in Houston, Oslo and Singapore to serve our market 24 seven. And we have product services which ensure we have high fleet utilization with low risk. In addition, our analysts make sure we have good data enable us to make good commercial decisions. We also bring in cost efficiency to the collaboration with our sister company Hafnia on bunker 
procurement. Hafnia has supported bunkering of more than 750 ships. This allows us to get bunker at competitive prices. Therefore, BW LPG Spot Pool, we believe, is, a, is perfectly designed to navigate through the extreme volatilities in the VGC market and the challenges ahead of us. And I welcome all of you to join our pool. In conclusion, we remain positive to the market. However, we have several challenges, which we can together overcome. We appreciate your time. And as always, we remain available for questions or feedback. Please call or email us. Have a good day and a good evening. Thank you.